This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Hey there, Artie! The die of fate had been cast. Reporting to a public agency, which we kept being warned could instead result in something far worse for Sotoko if we didn't have the evidence first. And just... just like that. Had I failed? Had I let my emotions get the better of me in that moment? I don't think so. I think you did the responsible thing. Is murder a justifiable action? Murder? No. Killing? Potentially. Because again, murder is the in taking of an innocent human life. But if a human does something that deserves the death penalty, and you take matters into your own hands because the law will not, I think that that's justified. And honestly, again, I feel like most people, if there's somebody who is sexually abusing someone that they are supposed to be guardian of, I think most people would not be unhappy or, like, take issue with them dying. I don't, I don't think that's a, I don't think that's an unpopular opinion. <laughs> I remember the punishment game where we had to badmouth Curry and how my, me saying anything would have made it worse, and Satoko told us to leave the talking to her. Maybe it was the same thing here. I was impulsive, so maybe I should have just shut up and looked at the floor. But, it was too late to lament it. The die I had thrown wouldn't be coming back into my hands. All we could do was pray for something good to happen. Leave it to the adults, who are wiser than you are. ね。俺にできる精一杯。本当に俺が死に物狂いに精一杯だったら、佐都子を夕べのうちに連れ出して、どこかの廃屋にでも隠れて。もう考えるのは予想。ケイチ君、少し今後詰めすぎだよ。
部活する気も起きないでしょ<笑>みーちゃん部活は誰がかけても面白くないよレナ was right it was no fun for us if someone was missing If the teacher's expression had shown more promise, then maybe we could have gone home more comfortably. But I couldn't let myself feel relieved. <laughs> no, teacher is. I like teacher! No, teacher is great! I couldn't be naive and tell myself all I can do is pray now that the dice have been cast. Just in case they didn't get her to safety and decided to wait and see again, I needed to take fervor measures. Hmm, we've asked people who could do something official already. Then, there was one more place that was worth asking for help. She might laugh it off. Or I might be right, and I could be in danger in my own life. But, I'd try. <laughs> Is she gonna talk to Takano and be like, Hey, make it happen. <laughs> or like, Mio, hey, make it happen. Is he gonna go to the person who he thinks is responsible for the killings? Just be like, hey, I got a job for you. え、いいけど。There was an ominous meaning behind my words, so Mion realized what I really meant right away. I am not familiar with that case, no. I wanted to talk about something alone. That's what I meant. みーちゃん、ケイチくん、早く帰ろう。Rena already had her shoes on and was waving to us from the schoolyard. Whoa, oh my gosh, light speed to Endor? <laughs> that was instantaneous. <laughs> Just like all of a sudden, man, those, those seven league boots are really working out. Mion's house was gigantic in every imaginable way. The house itself was a vaguely old fashioned traditional Japanese house, but the yard, I guess, or their plot of land, was enormous. It easily convinced me that they really were major landowners, with Hinamizawa under their thumb. <laughs> under your thumb, goof. Oh no, not this room. I don't like this room after chapter two. Mion brought me through the guest room, and a servant brought us some tea. Eh, We haven't met Grandma yet. I feel like we're going to at some point. The servant left, telling us that it was five o'clock, then withdrew with soft footsteps. バッチャの世話とか掃除の手伝いで来てくれてる34人がローテーションで入ってくれてるんで大抵毎日誰かがいるんだけど夕方までだけどねあ宴会とかがあって人手が欲しい時にはベッドに呼んでるんだけどさ You've been in this room that uh congrats or I'm sorry <laughs> this I now associate this with the terrifying chapter 2 ending If you had the money to hire all these people then just take Satoko in I glared at her as if I thought that, and Mion seemed to catch on immediately. Is this literally just because her grandma's like, I hate the whole joke, we're not having them in the house. Because <laughs> Mion's not in charge of the family, her grandma still is. It kind of looked like I was bullying her. Mion had been apologizing to me a lot lately. Was Mion the sort of person who would do that this much? Maybe it's just I've been looking so grim lately. Because <laughs> again, we. Takano told us who she thought was responsible for the killings. We didn't hear it. We, the audience, didn't hear it, but Keiichi presumably did. So, may oh, maybe she's like, I'm pretty sure the Sonazakis are behind it. So, Keiichi, is Keiichi going to be like, look, Mion, I think your family's responsible for these killings. Can you put him on the hit list this year? <laughs> this is going to be an awkward conversation. Also, we had like a 50% chance of dying for asking this. Oh, interesting. Okay, 
その先ミオに話が。Okay, so may, maybe the reason they, we didn't hear what Takano's theory was because we kind of already did in chapter two and they didn't want to tread up all of the old plot dump since we don't need that anymore. Okay. At first, Mion looked like she had no idea what I was saying, but at hearing the whole sentence and putting it together, she reacted. <laughs> it absolutely does. I definitely couldn't tell her who told me. Takano san, you told me not to, but please forgive me. This is why I ask you about it after all. いろいろとあることないことを知ってそうだね。ああ、あ,あることない。俺が勘違いしてるだけなのかもしれない。でも、それでもいいから聞いてくれ。そして、もしも本当なんだったら。ケイちゃんが何の話をしようとしてるかわからないけど、話す前に釘を刺すよ。とにかくケイちゃんは大きな勘違いをしてる。だからできるなら私はケイちゃんの話も聞きたくない。うん、i n t e r e s t i n g I mean, eh, Beverly Hills Hollywood breeds a lot of、um, not great parenting, I'll, I'll just say that. 聞いても何も叶えてあげられないからね。でも、話すことでケイちゃんの肩が少しでも軽くなるなら聞くよ。Wow, this is really good music. Hmm. That's. that's rough. But yeah, I see the parallels. So did you mean it? Ah. Mion seemed to know what kind of thing I'd be talking about. She warned me that doing so would be fruitless. That much was obvious. If what I was going to say was true, then the Sonazaki family. Would be the masterminds behind the string of freak deaths that had been occurring every year in Hinamizawa. Oyashiro sama no tatari te ario na. Mio nodded a little. Shoutai fume. Naze okoru no kamo fume. Koko ni a kaiket shi nagara mo. Zentai de mireba fukakai na. Lenzoku kaishi. Lenzoku shi so jiken. Demo. Hitotsu take kyotsu suru koto ga aru. Sore wa. 必ず村の旧敵が標的に選ばれることみたいだねミオン spoke as if it didn't relate to her that was fine she didn't have to admit it for now I just wanted her to stay quiet and listen to me あさってだろ渡タナガシゲーウタ今年のたたりの犠牲者ってさもう決まってるのか<笑> have you already chosen a target? <笑>ミオン didn't answer Her expression remained the same, too. Like she said, she was just quietly listening. Ah, sorry. I'm 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 sorry. Oof. Oh, that's horrible. Mion gave me a look she'd never given me before. A faraway look. A sympathetic one. She didn't nod. She just smiled faintly and listened to me. If I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. サトコのおじじゃなかったならサトコのおじに変えてくれ<笑>オッケーだって去年はサトコのおばだろ順番から言えば決しておかしくはないだろ<笑> well, It's weird though because in the first two chapters it's always been Tomotake who dies and Takano who is demoned away but then right after this festival There were more deaths. In chapter one, it was like Keiichi and Rena and Mion all died. And then in chapter two, it was like literally every single person except for Rena died. And possibly Mion slash Shion. I'm still not entirely convinced that it was Mion last chapter that went crazy. So, that's it. So, that's it. 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 サトコを放り出して丸一年町に逃げ出してたじゃないかそんなやつもろにお社様のたたり確定じゃないかよ今年のたたりに選んでも不足はないはずだぜそうだね今年のたたりであいつが死んでも多分みんな納得するね
俺聞いたんだお社様のたたりってのはその No matter how I looked at it, I wasn't sure whether I should continue. No matter how I tried, the words wouldn't come out. Hinamizawa Renzok Kaishi Jike, Tsusho, Oyashiro Sama no Tatariwa, Sonozaki Kenga Shudo de Gosan Kenga Okoshte, Muragurumi no Jiken da. Desho? Be. 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 もしもそういうたたりを決めている連中に渡りがつくなら里子のおじをたたりに選ぶように聞いてほしいだけなんだ This is probably supposed to be a very dramatic moment but I'm just like he's basically just asking me to have her family connections off this guy and she's just like I'll listen ケイちゃんの言ってる内容はさっきから本当にひどいこと True ひなみざわ連続開始事件が、その崎家主導の事件なんだとしたら。それじゃあ、私たがたたりを決め、指示をし。何人も殺めて消したことになる。I mean, like, we know you're, you were definitely part of it in chapter two. You were, and are your twin. けいちゃんは私を、人殺し呼ばわりするんだ。だから。言ってるじゃないか。ミオンが連続殺人の主犯だろうと、無関係だろうと。Well, um, 俺はどうでもいいんだ。You should. You definitely should. This is like the equivalent of like <laughs> in Twilight, where like Edward is like, I've killed people before, and Bella's like, I don't care. It's like, why don't you? And for those who are wondering, I have not seen Twilight nor read Twilight, but I did watch a hilarious series of YouTube videos about a therapist and her about who watched Twilight, and it's like, this is the most toxic relationship ever, and it, it was hilarious. たとえミオンが殺人犯だって、俺の親友であることには何も関係ないじゃないか。それでも全然構わないんだぜ警察に追われたら助けてやるお前のアリバイを作ってやるし逃走だって助けてやる仲間で親友だからだ I would help you get away with murder cause we're friends It's like You're either a great friend or a terrible friend そうだろ Mion looked surprised for a while She was dumbfounded いきなり共犯宣言ケイちゃん、かなり大胆だよそれ。いいから話の腰を折るな。Stop screaming, Keiichi. She is calm. You don't have to scream. サドのおじを今年のたたりに。ケイちゃん、ストップ。そろそろご飯の準備をしたいから。今日はこれくらいにしたいんだけど。<笑> you know, Keiichi, it's been great talking to you, but I gotta make dinner. You can borrow some manga. <笑> Yo. Then I realized that my cheeks were wet with tears. They slid down my chin and fell, drip drop on the tatami mat. I was going to say, 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 <laughs> Even the music doesn't believe this. だからケイちゃんの必死の訴えには胸を打たれるけど、私が叶えてあげたくても叶えてあげられない。それもわかるね。It's a good thing Reno wasn't here. Reno's like, wow, you're taking a long time to choose the manga, Keiichi. <laughs> でもケイちゃんの気持ちは痛いくらいにわかったよ。もしも本当に私がケイちゃんの言うようにご三家を操って。Yeah, I like how each new arc, like, you have the music from the previous arcs, but then they also add in a couple new tracks. So, yeah, like, the newer songs like this are gorgeous. And I still like the old tracks, too, but, like, that really low, like, that dun 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 da da dun dun, like, the really creepy, that's, that, I really like that song, but I think they do use it a bit too much when they don't need to. They should save it for the really creepy moments. でも現実は違う。あたしはただのその崎ミオン。確かにその崎家はいろいろな意味で悪い噂を持って、ひなみざわを影から支配している一族だけれども。Ren is one of my favorites. Partly because she's like a very sweet and like. I don't want to say like down to earth character because she's very weird, but like. 
she can be both like the crazy person and the straight man when it calls for her. And also, she is by far the creepiest character when she starts going crazy. Like, she's way creepier than the others, which is, is always great. Because you're, you're on your toes. Like, one second, she's, like, just being very sweet. The next, she's like, are you, like, lying to me? <laughs> it's like, okay, okay, just start with the reptile eyes. Reptile-eyes. <laughs> Mm hmm I don't believe you, because you have in Chapter 2. Keiichi's... <laughs> <laughs> you know what's gonna happen? It's just gonna be Keiichi's gonna be walking around and just, like, saying out loud loudly to everybody in nearby, just like, man, I don't know who's behind Oyashiro-sama's curse, but, you know, if they did have to pick a target this year, I mean, this guy would be a great choice. I'm just saying, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Just like, he says that to everybody, so he's like, I'm like, in the worst case, whoever's behind it's gonna hear it, and maybe, maybe they'll do it. <laughs> And then you'll get arrested for saying creepy things in public. <laughs> really? Royalty? Copyright free music? Wow, that was good. ケイちゃん、夢を見るのは勝手。私がここでうなずいて見せれば、ケイちゃんは佐藤子が明後日の夜に解放されると信じて、肩の荷を下ろすことができるんだろう。<laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Honestly, I might be moving away from YouTube and, like, content like that in the near future. I still have several Let's Plays I want to do, but and, like, I do like streaming, but I'm also in my late 20s, and I, there's stuff in my life I want to accomplish, and I feel like I'm spending so much of my life just recording, editing, streaming, uploading, so... But I do definitely want to complete Higurashi. So, you know, worst case, either we'll just do that gradually over the years, or maybe I'll just record it all and upload it periodically. <laughs> Intersperse it with our Ace Attorney videos that we still have a backlog of. <laughs> a <laughs> yeah, that, that would be a little awkward. Can you at least tell your grandma, okay? Like, if she's behind it, I want her to, her to know I, I'd approve of this target. Mion stood up slowly and closed the sliding door to keep out the wind that had grown chilly. Mion, <laughs> <laughs> She'll be gone by tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, you know her! So she was the one who told you. Yes, yes. But I'm fine. I know that it was Jerry. Jerry told me. Who's Jerry? I ditched him. 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 What if just nobody dies this year? We're... No! We wanted someone to die this year! <laughs> That's the real... Sometimes the real horror is realistic. Thank you. Thank you. If I were to die in the next year, I got news for you. Even if she was connected, that was going to be an uncomfortable conversation. <laughs> Mion said she didn't have much time, but she still brought me to the gate. Yeah, she didn't want us getting lost and finding the torture bunker by accident. She said she had a meeting or something today about Sunday's Watanagashi Festival, so there would be a lot of people from the town council and the festival committee coming. Despite her day being so busy, she still listened to what I had to say. I mean, I have a couple theories. I don't know which one is true. There, I, I ever think there is actually a demon out there who's not necessarily doing things on his own, but is like influencing, possessing, or manipulating people to do it. There might be multiple demons. 
Uh, if it is just there's no real demon, then I'm guessing there's some conspiracy at work where there's multiple different pieces that are either working separately or together. So it's either like a giant conspiracy or it's like, oh, there's like a bunch of people that are like all kind of doing it and like they're looking the other way. So like, they, the Sonazaki family is definitely part of this. We saw in Chapter 2 they have this whole torture bunker that was being used and they killed a bunch of people. Um, but at the same time, I definitely don't trust Takano because she faked her own death and she's also like tell, telling about all these really creepy things. Shion is probably part of it too. There, but And at the same time, whenever people go crazy, one thing I, I keep trying to remind myself, whenever people go crazy, they start hearing noises that no one else can hear. And it's often like, because like, I think in Chapter 2, like, Shion and Tomotake, who both went crazy, could hear, I think, like someone jumping up and down in the shed that nobody else could hear, or like a thumping sound and that nobody else could hear. And then in chapter one, when Keiji was presumably going crazy, he kept hearing someone, like, say, I'm sorry over and over again. So, like, that's also weird. So, there's something there, too. I don't know. I, like, I, I feel like... I don't, I don't think we have enough pieces to be able to find the whole truth yet. But I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, like, mentally figure things out. But I don't do a great job explaining my thought process for a lot of these. <laughs> あ、今日は変な話をして本当にごめんな。今日の話は長かったことにしてくれていい。うん。忘れておくよ。じゃあ、明日な。バイバイ。バイ。I had only really spent a short time of me on talking to her made me think. It was clear that what Takano had told me at least wasn't a complete fabrication. If Mion was really, really unconnected to the incidents, then she probably wouldn't have listened to me so quietly. She heard me out until I was done without making any quips, and I wanted to think that was proof. I did kind of feel like I was grasping at straws. Of course, thinking back on it, it was a terrible thing to discuss. I mean, I went to my friend's house, called her a serial murderer, and then told her to kill Satoko's uncle. I was the only one talking that whole time. Mion quietly listened to everything I had to say like a pastor listening to a confession. She could have gotten angry partway through, told me off, and told me to go wash my face in miso soup and then come back later. But she didn't. Was that proof that Mion's family, the Sonazaki, were the masterminds? Or was she just listening because she felt sorry for me going kind of crazy? I remember that, but wasn't he also hearing... That voice, too, when he was uh, doing home run practice on uh, Mion and Rena. I seem to remember that. Or was he just saying, I'm sorry? Maybe I was getting those two confused. Partly, I, I'll, I'll be frank. Whenever I go into a new chapter, I go and like look up spoiler-free summaries of the previous chapters. Just to remind myself of the stuff that happened. I make sure they are spoiler-free, so I'm not getting spoiled on future stuff. Just because, you know, if I only do this once a year, I'm going to forget some of the details along the way. So, that that's how it goes. <sighs> I didn't know which it was. I don't either. I feel I feel like there's... Or maybe it's each, each timeline there's a different mastermind, but that would be a little weird. It was the one effort I could make at the moment. It was another form of insurance. Should worst come to worst, and the public agency decided to wait and see... It was a completely useless resistance, literally grasping at straws. Since I said that if she reported it to the Child Consultation Center, they'd have to respond on the same day. Could they already be in the middle of responding to it now? If Satoko came to school tomorrow morning all energetic, then everything would be just a needless fear. Why couldn't tomorrow come faster? Well, to be fair, if Satoko gets saved tonight, like, she's not probably going to school tomorrow. Because she's probably going to end up going to a different town to where there's an orphanage, because she'll have no legal guardians here. That night was unusually hot and humid, and I couldn't get to sleep. Partly, probably because you stayed up till 3.30 and slept in till like, 10. So you're probably just not that tired. I said all that to Sensei. They couldn't possibly decide to wait and see again this year. Satoko, what was it like for her tonight? 
Had she tasted the end of her nightmare, enjoying a night of liberation? I actually put my hands together and prayed into my futon. <laughs>